task, we are going to start drawing in the style of Michael Craig Martin using our pictures that we have taken of a day in our life. You will have already filled a page up and collaged it using newspaper, would have already done that, have been dried. What I would like you to do is add a clock somewhere, as you know that Michael Craig Martin has done a little bit of images to do with analog and digital. So we are going to do a clock. So if you have a clock at home, you can take a picture of it and do an observational drawing from it. If you don't, then find one on Google so you actually are looking at a clock when drawing. So I've done a clock on here and I've done the time that I have woken up, which is quarter past eight. And then my next part of my day that I did was to get up and make breakfast which consists of a bowl spoon coffee cup and a kettle so i have my phone here with the pictures on it of my different objects that i've used in the day you will have this printed off a lot bigger so that you are able to view each and every one of your pictures so i'm just going to go to my bowl and my spoon i want to draw in this sort of angle here with my spoon more of like a bird's eye view with the spoon but the bowl is going to go from the side so i'm having to think about what sort of scale i want to do i need to fill this page up in regards to my day so i want to make sure that i have enough room to fit everything in but i want to think about scale so my clock here is rather large i'm not going to do it to scale with the bowl so the bowl, the bowl could be actually quite smaller so what i'm going to do is i'm going to overlap part of the bowl just to the end of the clock there and then finish it off here and then i might have like a gigantic spoon because i feel like that would be really cool and you will be able to see in michael craig martin's work not everything is to scale he has things like a light bowl which would usually be quite small really really large compared to like a knife and a fork and a plate and things like that so what i'm going to start with is my bowl and i'm going to press really really lightly make sure that the glue that you had used is completely dry because otherwise it's going to be quite difficult for you to draw over it like my one here it's getting a little bit difficult do not worry if you make any mistakes because you are drawing very, very lightly and therefore you can rub parts out. We well, are not going to go over your images until you are completely happy with them with fine liner, just to make sure that everything is the in the correct place. So now I'm going to draw just the bottom of the bowl here. And always make sure that you are looking at your pictures. I don't want anyone to be looking and then just being like, oh, I can easily draw a bowl, because you may be able to, but you need to make sure that you are looking at your image all time. So mine is here. So I'm always checking and I'm going back to see if the bowl is in the right sort of shape. And then it has a bit that goes under here. I know it's quite hard to see. On here and then it has a small bit that goes underneath there I kind of want to round this bowl bit off a little bit more like that okay so I'm happy with that part and now I'm going to draw a spoon so I think drawing the spoon really really big compared to the bowl will look really cool so I'm just gonna go back into the bowl up here it looks a bit wonky when you have a look at it from the side so I'm just going to go down there and I'm just going to rub that out so don't worry if you make any mistakes because you may not be able to get it first time and that's totally fine so there we go now I'm going to draw my spoon so I'm going to draw it quite large here so you're always thinking about your layout you're always thinking about the scale what parts it's going to overlap and so on so I'm going to start with the largest bit of the spoon here and mine is a little bit wet still with the glue so that's why it's not drawing on it too well so always making reference to my photo then I'm going to draw that all the way down here as you can see I'm using quite small lines when sketching so that when I'm happy with the shape I can then go over the line but to begin with I'm doing very short bursts and as you can see here I'm holding my pencil quite near the tip that makes sure that you have 
quite a lot of control over your pencil. So there we go. I'm not really happy with the top bit here. Doesn't really look big enough. So there we go. I've got to make that slightly bigger there. There we go. So I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to carry on doing is I'm going to finish mine and I will put a picture up on the PowerPoint so that you can see. But I'm going to carry on looking at my images of my day. So when I had a cup of coffee, when I brushed my hair and did my makeup, that sort of thing. And I'm adding this. So this will turn into a whole page filled with all the objects that I have used in my day. And then we will go on to thinking about what colours we're going to use and how to paint it.